Our firm is Bursar & Fisher. We have an office in New York City, where we're sitting now. We have a second office in Walnut Creek, California. And we do complex civil litigation, including class actions, employment litigation, and anti-terrorism litigation. We've tried five class action cases to juries, and we've won five times out of five, with awards ranging from $21 million to $299 million. Class actions allow us to take on matters that affect the lives of millions of people and to seek justice on a grand scale. We've represented military service members challenging illegal foreclosures at home while serving on active duty abroad. We've gotten refunds when phone companies charged illegal fees. We've gotten cash payments when home appliances didn't live up to their manufacturer's claims of energy efficiency. We've represented more than 160 million people in our class action cases. That's more than one out of every two people in the United States. Ms. Marchuk was a first-year associate at a law firm in New York City. She sued the firm for discrimination and asserted some hostile work environment claims. She said that a senior partner at the firm had sexually assaulted her in the office after the office holiday party. She claimed that the sexual encounter left a large blood stain on the carpet in the partner's office. Initially, the firm hired someone else to defend the case. But when it became clear that it was going to trial, they brought us in to do the jury trial. The press covered every day of the trial because of the sensational allegations in the case. The partner admitted to the sexual encounter after the holiday party, but on cross-examination, we were able to discredit many elements of Ms. Marchuk's story and show that this was a consensual relationship. Midway through the trial, we filed a motion for judgment as a matter of law, and we won a defense judgment on Ms. Marchuk's claims for retaliation, for defamation, and on many of her claims against the individual defendants. So we eliminated all those claims before the case even went to the jury. Ultimately, the jury ruled in our favor and found no liability under the federal civil rights laws or the New York state civil rights laws. We settle cases all the time. Some cases settle relatively quickly, uh, but you can't go into a case expecting that's gonna happen. What's unique about our firm is that we have the resources and the skills to take the case the full distance through a jury trial, through an appeal, all the way to judgment. The Abacor case is a great example. We litigated that case for almost 10 years. We pushed it through two bankruptcies and through two jury trials. The first jury trial, we won a $37 million verdict against the company. In a second jury trial, we pierced the corporate veil and got a $50 million verdict against the shareholder. So I think that shows something that's unique about our firm is that we've actually run the whole race from the beginning of the case all the way through a jury verdict, all the way through multiple appeals. And I think we're able to get more value for class members that way. Oftentimes we're able to get defendants to put more money on the table because they know our track record and they know our reputation and they know that we're equipped and ready uh, to fight a long fight. The Anti-Terrorism Act makes it illegal to provide material support to a designated foreign terrorist organization. So if a bank, if a money transfer company, a communications company, or even a social media company provides material support to a designated foreign terrorist organization, they can be held liable for damages in an American court.